Um, we don't need Will Smith right. mentioned he was gonna run. Listen, I don't. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> if Will Smith mm -hmm. ran, he'd have the illest. Um, he'd have the illest like presidential intro. Like he'd have backup down this shit. Uh, um, 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 all the Secret Service gonna MIB it the fuck out of there. Uh. Getting jiggy with it and shit. <laughs> You gotta you got take a positive out of every negative. Like, a positive with this dude in office right now is it showed me that anything is possible, bro. Not it, to mention it, it's showing everybody's true colors. You know what I mean? Because, like, so. if everybody's so open to say, oh, F him, F him, how is he there in the first place? You know what I mean? It's kind of like a Judas thing, you know? Really? Like, it's F him, but really they. they he, he's the nominee for a reason. Right. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. He went against 16 what are the Repu Republicans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And beat them in their own game. I don't know how. And then, then Hillary, you know what I mean? She she had it. I was like silver spoon. So anything is possible. Like that's the only positive thing that I can probably tell my kid. Like yeah. this guy has no education as far as this goes. But if he's president, you could be president too, baby. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how I felt about George Bush. But it's kind of a good and a bad. Like, thing. Yo, that's it's kind of a good and a bad thing at the same time because it's like. Our standards are set so low mm -hmm. that now you believe you could become president because he became president. Yeah. True. Same thing George Bush Jr. I was like, that's see, 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 see. It actually, it actually was already set once, uh, once, once a motherfucker like Arnold Schwarzenegger was like, "Hi, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger, the governor of California. You can do it too." <laughs> 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 Jesse the Body Ventura. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I would, I would vote for him. Jesse the Body Ventura, I'll slam you on your shit. <laughs> See, he, he seems like he doesn't take any crap from anybody either. He actually did. I wish Macho Man like, Randy yeah. Savage would have died in the politics, Close, man. You see the Triple H running? No, K. Stop. K. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Stop. 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 Tennessee. The Big Red Machine. Big Red Machine. He's about to choke down crime, dog. Can you imagine it? Can you imagine how he plans the motherfucker do the death? Walk into office. <laughs> Stuff exploding everywhere. Yeah. Man, that's how he fucking tearing everybody up. He burned everybody to death in Tennessee. Chunk. He just gonna oh, stay in front of pyrotechnics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> death by fire. Boof. <laughs> Man. You got you got goddamn Jerry the King Lawler and, and a good old JR reading your uh reading your death warrant off. This is about to be a slobber knocker. You just been sitting us to death by Kane the big red machine. Oh my! He's running mate, the Undertaker. Come out of nowhere. No. And the Undertaker's got an Undertaker and Paul Bear. <laughs> They're the warden and got him. <laughs> you guys hear about this thing going on with the uh, with the government of Michigan still? Flint? You know, they, they stopped sending water. Now, why, why would they do that? Because well, they need to fund the goddamn missile. Because nobody's, nobody's paying attention, so they figure they can stop? Well, no. They, they, stopped, they stopped sending water. I guess they were under the assumption that the water problem was fixed. It's not? How long has that been, guys? How long? How long? Like three years. Three years. Yeah, yeah. Okay, has so has it been better? Nah, not at all. Because as soon as they stop sending, the people will post the videos and they turn on their faucets and they water is still yellow. So, so my question goes to like, like Obama and, and, and this other guy, shit like from their water. No, water. Yeah, how come yeah, either or hasn't fixed it? You know what I mean? For if it's been what, three years, you guys said. Yeah, yeah. This guy's been in office one, one year, one or two already. Yeah, that was one. one. Okay, so both both of these dudes, like, what what's going on with that? Like, I heard it's like fifty-five million to fix the pipes. But yet we're sending millions and millions of dollars to shoot some missiles. That's like, the thing. That's on top, on top of that, he's gonna have. Uh, well, what, what did he say? He was gonna have a uh, military parade. Mm -hmm. Is that what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna have a military parade because he saw. Well, what, what country was North he in? Korea. Where he was like, oh yeah, they, they had a beautiful parade, and I want to have one now. Yeah, he's fucking. Come on. He, 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 wants, he, he wants to use military, and he wants to use military <laughs> dollars to build this wall. I feel like and we have so many other things that need that that need to be taken care of. We talking about those pipelines. You, I mean, you know, he's focused on feeding his ego too. Yeah. Because I mean, oh, that's why it's important. I be telling people like, <clears throat> bureaucracy is cool because it's organized, but it's not always effective. Right. You know, people got to do for themselves. Mm -hmm. Raise that money. Talk to them billionaires in your country. You know, in your your state or your city. Yeah. Who got that money? You got to vibe. Say, listen, this is our community. We got to do this on ourselves because big government doesn't always do it. You know, you know. I feel like I feel like them people in Flint shouldn't have to suffer like that. So, mm -hmm. for all you people, America, if you are listening, for all you people out there in Flint, Michigan, man, and y'all still got fucked up water, man. If you feel like I feel, go to Canada. Everybody they probably got clean water <laughs> on that side. They got free health care. Yeah, just. Desert your country and go Man, to Man, fuck that. I would. You see what kind of president? The president rather go take our money and fix our water mm -hmm. so we can vote for this motherfucker again to go blow up Syria. For what? 
People just say, well, then again, I saw the oil that Syria has. Oh, my fucking God. Did, did you just switch your position? Did you just kind of get a switch? He's like, this in the middle of this bitch. Like, that's why I hit up this right now. You know what I mean? Like, man, I, I, I thought about now why he fucking did it. He's no. trying to be a bully. He wants to he, he, he sits around and listens to Lil Uzi all day. Now I do what I want. Now I do what I want. So now he just go around. Doing shit like this, he went over there, fucked Korea in the face, and was trying to be nice. Mm -hmm. Now he wants us to live like Koreans. And at the same time, he see Syria got the oil, so that's who he trying to start a war with next. Yeah. Who did Bush go the fuck after um, a couple years ago when he found out they had the bomb, the bomb diggity oil? Right. Afghanistan, all the motherfuckers. And what happened in retaliation? 9-11. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker's trying to... Now look. I'm not saying some shit finna happen, but because this motherfucker did that, if any shit other than schools getting shot up happened between now and the end of 2018, it's because the nigga launched on Syria, fuck ass. Yeah. <clears throat> and then he said it was a success. Every other what? president, every other president go after the Middle East for oil. Let me, let me ask and this. fuck shit up. What defines that being a success? By attacking some place, how was it defined as a success? Because people, there were some casualties, I'm assuming. There had to be casualties. How was that a success? Because yeah. mm. I guess he was able to successfully do it. He hasn't been able to successfully do anything, anything really. I mean, he's had some stuff, but when you look yeah, at so like, many things he's messed up on, he's like, I press the button and it actually hit a target. Oh, right. I mean, he successfully grabbed bitches in the pussy for some years, so he's not a total failure. Mm. Uh, uh. Question though, uh, the recent story about um, North Korea coming out saying they don't no longer spend money on uh, missile tests and things like that. What does that mean for us? Does that mean they've tested all their shit and they know their shit work? Yeah. Listen, that's what it feels like. To work. That's exactly what it is. Listen, those guys, like they say that, like um, Trump got mad because it was like five, uh, I think like five thousand miles away from hitting, like, like yeah. our, our thing. Listen, he set up those missiles to go that way because they don't have to fly that high, bro. If them things like, like if you guys are into like warfare and stuff yeah. like that, you guys can see they stopped testing because they already got they well, coordinates yeah. ready. They know the strength of the shit and. and Hit the EMPs, but that's another thing. Yeah, all they have to do is change the angle. All they have to do is change the angle on that Drop shit. Drop it down a little bit, and it's gonna. That was it. Shout out it. to you, physics majors out there. Y'all are the shit. Mm. No doubt. The yeah. only physics majors uh, understand true trajectory and math and the science behind it. Mm -hmm. See, I was reading the list of topics, man, and there was actually a really good question here that y'all that y'all presented. The idea of America being segregated again does that help with racism? That's interesting. I, I saw a video um, with this young lady speaking, and her idea is, <clears throat> okay, we had 60s, before the 60s, you know, uh, we had black schools, white schools, black classrooms, white classrooms, black bathrooms, white bathrooms, or whatever. <clears throat> and the issue with segregation back then, the kids uh, who wasn't as fortunate or poor, uh, minorities included, they weren't they weren't getting the same education as the privileged kids, as the white kids. Mm. So her theory is okay. So now that we've gotten that education, now that we've learned some of their skills as well as more of our skills, and we've learned more about our history <coughs> and more about their history, why not segregate segregate schools now? So resegregate schools. Now. Resegregate schools. That way we can teach our own people how things are supposed to be. Um, culturally as well as you know even the shit that they may not teach us in our <clears throat> inner city schools that you know these privileged white kids are learning out in the suburbs mm -hmm. why not bring that same education back to our people you know and I think it's the theory in itself the idea I can see how it would benefit us mm -hmm. but I can also see how it would set us back mm -hmm. you know what I mean I think it would be probably more beneficial for us to be in better positions while we're still together. Right. So while we have multicultural high schools and education you know, systems right now, institutions, let's be the principals for those schools, right. superintendents for those schools, so we can help moderate and push 
you know, more cultural awareness for our individual cultures in the school, opposed to segregating, because once we segregate ourselves, it's a lot can happen with that. Yeah. Just like it did back in the day. If you have in your own neighborhood, there's a lot of black neighborhoods that were victimized like crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it didn't touch other neighborhoods and that could easily happen again the Absolutely. way things going on today. And I don't know if I, if I agree so much with the idea of <clears throat> having uh, our own teach us because I feel like that in itself is a, is, a, is a sense of racism also. You, if, you're, if, if you're delegating, you're putting specific races to teach specific races mm -hmm. then how, 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 how are they expanding their mind how, how are they able to think or get ideas or <clears throat> challenge one another with different um, opinions and questions and things like that because that's how we learn really in, in, a, in a school in a classroom setting you learn based off of not only what the teacher is teaching us but also what your peers around you are asking questions mm -hmm. to yeah. what they experience in life and things like that. So if everybody's experiencing the exact same thing, then how you're not are you, learning about anything. How, how are you anymore. growing? How how are you truly learning? Anything? Yeah, you know what I mean. So that's yeah, that's my beef with that. I, don't I think racism is like all like it's a man-made thing just to keep it to keep it booming. That like without racism, a lot of things would be like controlled and born supposedly. And I'll explain it in a way like if you look around. You, you got the brothers that like always say, oh, support local shops, this and that. And then you got the Jews that get upset because, yes, they make millions, but they get upset that like the brothers are making a couple hundred thousand or whatever. And then instead of like just leaving them alone, they try to buy them out. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's always going to be like that because like I'm a parent. G, you're a parent mm -hmm. too. And, our, and we got babies and stuff. But like us, all of us here in this room who have great parents that taught us that like not everybody's bad of the yeah. opposite color yeah. you know what I mean but the government would do things like example the school shooter let's be honest if it was a brother he wouldn't be in he jail. wouldn't be in jail and, and it's it's a Shoot tactic because that way 